USDA releases its latest crop progress report today. Recent reports show crops look better in the east. In fact, Pennsylvania's corn crop is rated 88% good to excellent. In Iowa, just over half of the state's crop is rated good to excellent. Ag Day National reporter Tyne Morgan gives us a crop view from the top this morning. Tyne? Clinton, I've heard a lot of rumblings about how bad crops look in northeast Iowa and southern Minnesota, but it wasn't until seeing a view from above that I believed it. Pro Farmers Chip Flory tagged along with two other crop watchers who will both be on the annual Pro Farmer Crop Tour this year. They took off from Charles City, Iowa on July 29th with a camera in hand to get a look at how drastic this year's crop really looks from 1,000 feet up. Bare soil, large holes in the middle of lush green fields, and inconsistency stretching for miles. This is an aerial view of northern Iowa and southern Minnesota, and proof of what too much rain can do. The pounding rains, the saturated soils, the late plantings, and then the mudding it in in a lot of cases led to these problems. Peter Meyer of Pyra decided to get a first-hand look of these issues from the air. The water, uh, the holes in the fields, are as, are as big as football fields. I think it's going to be a very, very difficult time. And the soybeans there are so small, and with the daylight getting shorter, I just don't know how sustainable this soybean crop is. Meyer says based on what he's seen, he thinks the prevent plant acres in Iowa and Minnesota alone will be around 2 million acres just in corn. Meanwhile, in USDA's June acreage report, the agency still thinks total acreage will set records this year. This is despite the dramatic picture of Iowa and Minnesota. Pro farmer analyst Brian Grady lives in Cedar Falls, Iowa, and has seen the poor conditions firsthand. After getting a 1,000 foot view, he says it can't be accurately measured when just driving by. Now these may not be visible from the road. In fact, some of these crops that we're seeing here from a thousand foot view uh, may actually be rated as good to excellent fields uh, by USDA at this point in time uh, because they're not visible from the road. But when you get the aerial view of them, you, sh you see all the holes that are out there, the thin stands and so on and so forth. So if this year's crop is as bad as the scouts are seeing, why have we seen such a dramatic drop in crop prices on the Chicago Board of Trade lately? Well, Grady says, unfortunately, we may not get an accurate account of this year's crop for a few more months. These are, are issues that may not be uncovered until much later in the, uh, the growing season and uh, maybe not until combines actually roll this fall. So this is a situation, as we've been saying, where it may be later rather than sooner before the market realizes some of the problems that are hidden out there in those Iowa and, and southern Minnesota corn and soybean fields. You could even see the stark difference where farmers have tile lines in that footage. Crazy. Well, we've heard crop conditions are better on central Illinois. Some farmers even, even saying that this year they could have corn yields top 250 bushels per acre. However, much of this year's crop all across the Corn Belt got planted late. And now fears are surfacing on what an early or even normal freeze or frost could do to a large portion of acres. So Mike Hoffman's 90 day temperature outlook will be key. He'll have that coming up later in this show. But let me give you a hint, Clinton. It doesn't look good. Back to you. The Pro Farmer Midwest Crop Tour is watched very closely each year by the industry. It runs August 19th through the 22nd. It covers seven states from Ohio to Nebraska. Tyne will be on tour providing daily updates here on.